Hi, John Asen, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance. And I want to talk to you today about processing while you practice. And if you've been lucky enough to be in our MATLAB, the motion capture that creates a 3D image of um, your swing and your body motion, you will have understood how it is when you're actually making adjustments in live form with our model while you're stepped inside of his stance. This is the ultimate in processing the feel of that adjustment. And for most of you that can't be in there, and certainly not every day, when you're practicing, you need to stick with that process for as long as you need to, to get these new habits formed and develop into your golf swing. So processing what you practice is usually done through a couple different ways. Obviously, you need feedback. And we have some very good feedback here in terms of ball flight. But it's not always uh, the ball flight that exactly tells you what's wrong. So clearly, you need to get into some drills. And I'm a big believer in drills in that they help you reinforce and feel or identify with the actual new adjustment that you're going to put into play. So the idea would be that once you've got yourself at a certain point that you want to work on something, you need to put your brain into that area. So you can forget about the results or the performance of the shot while well, you can focus on one particular area. Let's just say we're working on the bent right wrist, and we all know how important our bent right wrist is. That palm pressure that we keep talking about literally can run our golf swing for us. So I'll set up and I'll go into maybe a drill where I like the right wrist bent position at the one to two stage where my club shaft is horizontal and parallel to the target line. And I've got myself in a a bent right wrist condition and I want to make sure that, that bent right wrist condition remains bent throughout my backswing and literally through impact. If I can do that then I'll be working on a positive reinforcement of what I need to work on and that's what I like to do to give myself feedback. So once I get that bent in that position I'm going to just take it up to the top and hit the shot. And obviously I can look at my performance, get my numbers off the true track system. Gives me great path, great face angle there. And I might hit, I don't know, five or ten shots like that. That's really all I can really absorb. Once I've hit five or ten shots, maybe I'll work on the unloading part of that same drill, which would be considered a bent right wrist in my follow through which is the full twist away drill so the back of my left hand will be on my target or my screen over here. So I might hit five, ten shots like that. So I'm going to make a back swing from the bent right wrist condition here working on the bent right wrist through my palm pressure on my right hand and then I'm going to go to my full twist away. when I hit the full twist away position, I know that I still have my bent right wrist. I actually still have pressure on number two pressure point or my palm. Again, great path, good club face alignment, good distance and direction. So I can check everything from a standpoint of outcome and my performance, but I'm also staying connected with the process through the drills. So everybody has the things that they need to work on and that's the important thing is to understand what it is you're working on and if you're not with your coach or your instructor, make sure that you're taking that process and trying to reinforce those adjustments through these drills. Easier said than done, but master certain drills and you will make good changes to your golf swing. Good luck with that, good golfing and enjoy the hit.